Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Yalka and I'm super excited to share this video with you guys. The Max Solana collection has launched online and in store. I hope that you got your hands on at least one item. I am so fortunate that I was able to pick up every single thing except one eyeshadow. My goodness, the struggle was real. So today I'll be sharing just a teeny tiny review over the items that I did pick up. I do have this little Selena inspired makeup tutorial to share with you guys at the very end. I am beyond thrilled that we as Selena's fans have helped to bring this collection to life. As a little girl, I grew up listening and dancing to her music and still do to this day. She is truly an inspiration, an icon, and a legend. I'm just so excited that I got my hands on this collection. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into a little mini review. So first off, we see that the packaging is purple and I love it. I've heard some things about the packaging being a little cheap, but I personally don't feel like the packaging like feels cheap. The colors are pigmented. I will say that the purple one isn't as pigmented as I thought that it would be, but I haven't applied it to my eyelids yet. I've only swatched it with like a skin tone primer. I know if I were to apply the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk underneath it and then apply it on top that it would definitely help it, but it just wasn't as pigmented as I thought that it would be for such a pretty purple. Okay, next up, the lipsticks. They hit it out of the park with the lipsticks. I absolutely love them. The one that I'm wearing on my lips is Dreaming of You, and it is so perfect. It is definitely Selena's iconic burgundy lip. It is perfection. Selena was always rocking a red lip, and Goma La Flor is just stunning. The nude lipstick is just as beautiful, and honestly, I told myself if I could only get my hands on one thing from the entire collection, if it were all sold out except for one thing, I had hoped that I could get my hands on the lipsticks, and they are so well worth it. So the next two items are the mascara and the eyeliner. Now I believe that these are part of MAC's permanent line, but they put Selena's packaging on it. And I wasn't too impressed with either of these items. Now I have never tried an eyeliner or mascara from MAC. So this was my first time trying their products to begin with. And this is the liquid eyeliner in Boot Black. I simply bought these items for Selena and whether they were going to be good or bad, I wanted them for myself. But now knowing that they are just Max permanent collection in the Selena packaging, I was not pressed with either one. The eyeliner was just, it wasn't black black. I had to go over it continuously. It just didn't apply smooth. It didn't apply evenly. Not impressed. My $3.99 Wet n Wild Mega Liner is 110 times better than this formula, better than the brush. This is the Opulash in Optimum Black, and it was okay. Like, it wasn't anything, like, breathtaking. I mean, the packaging I absolutely love. I, I love this collection, but the formula, when I initially saw the wand, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna love this. Like, this is my type of wand, but it just, it didn't do anything for me. Okay, next up, this was one of the products that, I mean, I wanted the entire collection, but again, I told myself, okay, if they have all the lipsticks and they have one other item, I hope it is this little compact. This is the bronzer and blush. I mean, I love the packaging and oh my goodness, if it's not the prettiest product in the entire collection. Selena's name is right there in the bronzer. I tried my best when applying it to like not not destroy the name oh my goodness the color was so pigmented it is beautiful i absolutely love it it is such a beautiful matte bronzer it's a little cooler than what i normally use but oh my goodness like i love it and the blush oh my goodness the blush is just effortless it is just that subtle hint of flush on your cheeks i I absolutely love this. This is perfection. Okay, the last item that I picked up is the brush. And my oh my. I, like, I'm literally just, I'm not impressed with the size of it. I believe the brush was $36. And it just, it, it kind of baffles me of why we couldn't get a full size brush for $36. We get a teeny tiny travel size. 
It says Max Selena, so you know I had to get it, but I'm just, I'm not too impressed with it. I used it for the first time for this tutorial, and it was already shedding. I mean, Mac, Mac got me because they put Max Selena on it, but if it was just their normal packaging or their normal brush handle, I wouldn't have bought it. Alrighty, well that is just a little mini review of all the items that I picked up. Again, I hope that you got your hands on something. Rumor has it that MAC should be restocking online. I'm not sure when that's, when that's going to happen, but that's the rumor out there. So if you didn't get anything in stores today, or if you didn't get anything on the previous launches at MAC, Macy's, or Dillard's, Hopefully MAC restocks online and you can get your hands on something. This collection is beautiful and it means so much more than just a lipstick or just a brush or just an eyeshadow. It really just goes to show you the impact that Selena still has on our lives. Alrighty, well thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. <laughs>